Hi guys, so we are getting down to the wire on the 10 E. So uh, today's video, I'm going to be working on the tailstock, getting it disassembled, cleaned up, and ready to be painted and reinstalled on the machine. And then we will make the first part, which will be to replace the quill felt retainer ring, which I misplaced or lost somewhere in my shop here. I'm sure it'll turn up as um, soon as I finish making the new part because that's the way those things sort of go. Uh, it's obviously here somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, we're, we're getting really close and uh, it's been a great project and I hope you enjoy the video. Maybe two parts, we'll see how much I can get done on the disassembly side, see how long the video is and then uh, see how long it takes to put the, uh, the, the tailstock all back together. So. Again, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, back on the uh, 10 E. We're going to be working on the tailstock, and over there is the uh, the light. I'm going to restore that light. Which can you see that light? Let's see. That's that light right there. I'm going to put that one back in and just put a LED bulb in it. So let's get this tailstock disassembled. wipe for the uh, the flat wave right in there the V wave was stuck right here okay this is the way for here if you remember before I mentioned I've misplaced the retainer for this it's here somewhere on planet earth but it not is not here in my shop so we'll have to figure out what's happening with that it's a little snug so I'm gonna have to clean up the rust on that thing See what's going on. So this guy looks pretty good. Other than the little bit of rust on the end. There's a key down in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. Right here that keeps this aligned, runs on that in that groove right there. This is the slot that allows you to take a, a taper to knock out a, the Morse taper bits you put in the end, like the centers and stuff. This right here is a little taper deal that as you thread down this guy, it squashes this and puts pressure against the quill, locks the quill in place. Get that out of there. Okay. So there's the lead screw for that. Got some flat bearings, which we'll check out when we get this dis disassembled and we'll see how they look. And we'll get all that cleaned up, get that cleaned and polished. And it all looks pretty good in here. Now, if I remember, this was held on here. This guy was on by a uh, tapered pin. So, uh, no, not on this. Oh, it looks like a roll pin and a set screw. So let's see what we got. All right, so this is a roll pin. 
not a tapered pin, so I'm going to go get a uh, um, punch, and we'll punch that guy out. loose on there, it just doesn't want to come off. Maybe a little bit of pressure. Okay. All right, we got quite a contraption on the end of this thing to lock the tailstock down, which obviously was connected. So it looks like this, there's a shaft that goes in here, attached to that lever, there's a cam in there. And when you rotate that, you pull up on the clamp against the underside of the ways and lock it down. Okay, I think I'm gonna start getting this assembly off first by, um, I'll get this nut off of here. So there's definitely some sort of spring pressure on this thing, which looks like springs underneath here. All right, so we'll get this out of the way. Yep, I guess I kind of remember that. A little hardened pin in here. All right, I'll put this nut back on. Well, yeah, I can put that nut back on. I'm not sure that this has to come out, but I just, I definitely want to spend a little bit of time here cleaning up all the, uh, you know, all the junk that's accumulated over the years. So that just works nicer. I think I remember this thing unscrewing. Yeah, it does. take this nut off because I think if I take these screws here that uh, allow you to shift the tailstock you know to the front to the back to get the tailstock lined up with the spindle with these jacking screws then we should be able to slide it off of pretty sure it's like on a dovetail or something anyway we'll take a peek I can't remember how that came apart, but we're going to find out here real quick. So you can see it's all scraped in. Scrape here too. All right. Okay, so what I'll do at this point is I will um, oh that's interesting. So there's there's like this cam in here and this bushing comes out which I remember this now. Okay. Okay. 
so this is what we have going on here, like little cam on there. This is the bushing here. I'm gonna have to clean up this roll pin hole so they can get this bronze bushing off of there. But I'm glad I took it apart because everything is bone dry. So we'll get that lubed up. Doesn't look like there's any place where it would get oil. Um, uh, so I would have made my life a little bit easier had I noticed this, maybe some of you guys did, set screwed right there. That actually holds the bronze bushing in right there. So you can see it was tight at one point, but obviously it allowed me to knock this thing out without dragging a scratch along there. So thankfully that screw was loose. Otherwise I probably would have damaged the, the bronze bushing because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I think we have this broken down far enough to start cleaning some parts up. I'll get this all cleaned up, stripped down, and then we'll bring you back and I'll show you what we got. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, so we got the tailstock all broken down. Uh, the next part of it is going to obviously be cleaning everything up and getting the, uh, the, the surface finish done, ready for paint. So part two of this video will be the reassembly of the tailstock and getting it mounted on the lathe and, uh, and then getting it fired up and let's see how it works. Thanks for watching.